Hey y'all, this is Phantom Phoenix here, and welcome to my first of my more rigorous schedule for uh, Blind Reactions. So today we are reacting to Sherlock Holmes in the 22nd Century, episode 15, The Five Orange Pips. I thought there was only three of them that sang with Gladys Knight, but apparently there's five? Maybe we'll figure out what this is once we start the episode, so... Let's see what this thing has for us today. Okay, got on the skateboard. Creepy, dark and stormy night. The usual. Oh, it's a delivery guy. Father, Don't shoot me, I'm just a messenger. This just came for you. For the antidote. Place it on the sundial. Huh. What a cryptic little note. I wonder. Orange pips. John, listen to me. Under no circumstances am I to be taken to the hospital. Understood. <gasps> Do you understand? Yes. Orange pips. What's with orange pips? Okay. Well, smart, smart boy. Find Sherlock Holmes. Um, I hope the little boy has a mother. Apparently, it's uh, suggesting uh, Caillou for me. Uh, no, the the little boy is no Caillou's too whiny and high pitched. Come closer, boy. Let's have a look at you. Hmm, late nineteenth century, a near accurate reproduction. Now, you say your father asked for me by name. Yes, Mr. Holmes. His scribbled your address just before he blacked out. Unconscious, is he? I shall okay. ring for an emergency medical team to... No hospital, Mr. Holmes. Please. I promised him. He just wanted you. Then we must leave at once. Watson. Get your metal lackey away from me. Young John Openshaw here is seeking our assistance, Dr. Mm. Watson. Indeed. Then I shall assist him down the street to the personality improvement seminar. Mm. Try and understand, Watson. He has been raised as an anti-tech. His is the world of 1890. You epitomize all that he has been taught to hate. Technology. That is absolutely shameful. My father would not want that machine in our house. He can't go. Your father is conveniently lacking a vote. And if Dr. Watson stays, I stay. I stay. Interesting, so they're talking about the anti-technology movement of the late 1800s, early 1900s, which is very interesting. Lucky for you, this machine happens to like people. It's going to be fine, John. Uh, I'll make sure. I can't remember what they were called, but there was a movement for it. Watson, how is Mr. Openshaw? The most confounded thing. According to my bio-organic med scan, everything in his body has nearly shut down. Except for his heart, which still has an unflagging beat. Does it? Though I admit the cause of his coma has thus far eluded me. The cause, I suspect, is in these five pips. Or rather, on them. Pips? Seeds from a common orange. With the okay. musk of a natural toxin added to them. Interesting. Is it the Strahd? No, it's not the Strahd. It's suspicious Identify theme. Yourself. I demand the same of you. Uncle Elias! Hmm. I'm so glad you're here. Father's sick and he had me find Sherlock Holmes. Hmm. It's okay, John. I'll take care of everything now. Do you suppose he too is an anti-tech? Mr. Holmes, you are welcome here. Hmm, but that hunk of hardware is not. Asked and answered. I'd say you need all the help offered to you, Mr. Openshaw. Especially now that those from whom you've been hiding have found you. John, you stay in the den while I have a word with Mr. Holmes. 
It's like, Speak this is line, adult man. stuff. What do you know? We don't want kitty. Only the obvious. That Openshaw is not your real name. That both you and your brother have been in hiding. That you know the identities of your pursuers. And that somewhere in Joseph's possession is a small object of great value to them. How could you possibly know all that? High walls, wrought iron spikes, a guard dog, all suggest fear and hiding. Antitects by nature tend to draw attention, which would force a change of identity in order to remain here. Your unannounced presence and safe passage past the dog implies frequent visits without worry of being seen or followed. So, I presume you must also share the same false identity. <laughs> Five orange pips, a sign feared by your brother and by you. Suggesting previous knowledge. And the object in question is small enough to fit on a sundial. It's all preposterous. Those pips mean nothing to me. Your lies mm -hmm. will not hinder my investigation, Mr. Openshaw. Mm -hmm. Nor will I brook any other interference. <laughs> Dr. Watson will he remain told here you, buddy. in Joseph's condition. Oh, stay away from the windows. The night most assuredly has eyes. Mm. Everywhere has eyes. The walls of us. Oh. Oh, that's cool. Analysis complete. Residue indicates presence of pretholiate root. Its effect on humans. Decreased brain activity. Reduced heart rate. Coma. No known antidote. Reduced heart rate. Origin. Africa. Jungle. Discovered 1856 by Dr. David Livingston. Livingston? Hey! Dr. Livingston, I presume? Uh, that's not suspicious looking dude. What are you up to, suspicious looking dude? You brought this on yourself, Joseph. I warned you. I'll take care of him. Warned him of what? Machines that are not worthy of my conversation. You show up unannounced. You know exactly what's going on. You lie about the pips. And now you display no sympathy towards your brother. This is certainly suspicious data for the old processor. Listen, you iron man. Yes, yes, yes. At best, you are a servant. At worst, you are a jumble of warmed over diodes and fiber optics. Be glad I don't make you stay with the dogs. No! Not it's very not nice, is he? Anti jacks just don't like robots. The point you both made all too clear. Uplink to you, Scotland Yard. Cross check for handprint and DNA matches. Nice. Uncle, is technology really so bad? I mean, Dr. Watson is trying to help us. We shun technology, John, because it's not natural. Robots are artificial life, and they simply have no right to exist. Little by little, we are losing our but, humanity to these machines. But a robot didn't do this to my father. A person did, right? But robots help us every day. I mean, or at least technology does. We, we don't quite have the robots yet, but we, we have a few. I guess you could call a Roomba a robot. I don't know if that counts or not. It's more like an automatic vacuum cleaner. Oh, I but I guess it could. I'm here to pick up that shipment of oh, it's the suspicious dude. That's black market. What makes you think it came to my dock? Because it is black market. Because it is black market. Too Wait, late. What? Already signed for and picked up. Five credits for a scan of that signature. Ten. Agreed. <laughs> Black market? Nice. So we have the black the market involved here. But the hand that went was dried! Oh my file. gosh, yes. He Hi, it's so good to see you again. Apparently they sabotaged the technology. Did you that all by yourself, did you? I am Sherlock Holmes, after all. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I am Batman. Founder, Dr. Joseph Dunsmere. Location, unknown. Hmm, age progression, 11 years. Objective. The fight against the integration of automatons. Owners were threatened with a coma-inducing toxin. The warning sign? Five orange seeds. 
To further their cause, Openshaw developed lethal robotic microtics stored in a tiny cyber nest. Magnified. When airborne, these microtics will purge any robotic matrix, disabling all automatons permanently. This epidemic was averted when Openshaw abruptly dissolved the group and promptly disappeared. And I guess the cyberness disappeared with him. Now someone wants it back. It's a good thing those microtics weren't unleashed. And New Scotland Yard's entire DNA storage matrix is very similar to the robots. It would have wiped out our records. I talk about chaos. Yes, chaos. And why the sudden interest in his cyberness now, after 11 years? Mm. Scotland Yard database search complete. Handprint match. Elias Dunsmere, member of the Tech Saboteurs. A saboteur, of course! He is behind this terrible events. It's for you, Uncle. To carry us and it's from Sherlock Holmes. Hold it there, sir. Clever rules, Mr. Dunsmuir, but it is highly unlikely that Mr. Holmes sent you anything. I must inspect that. Listen, you iron neck. <gasps> What? I don't know where it is. Where are you? Show yourself. Joseph, where did you hide it? Here, here. That won't help. Get your metal paws off me. If he hadn't lost his nerve, you wouldn't even exist. No robots would exist. And if I hadn't defended you, Joseph, I wouldn't have had to go into hiding for all these years. And I wouldn't be suffering your fate. Confession match? <laughs> Has Elias succumbed to the coma? Yes, moments ago. I must confess, Holmes, that I let my personal dislike for Elias form my hypothesis. I wrongly assumed he was behind this. A lesson learned, Watson. Emotions tend to cloud clear thinking. But regarding yeah, well, Elias' heart it's, it's not Elias who's like behind this, behind this, but to Joseph's. it seems like he's a part of it. You shall have your answer once we take a closer look with your med scan imager. That's a machine. Good grief, Holmes. An artificial heart? How did you know? The coma-inducing agent is petholiate root, which normally lowers the heart rate. Unless, of course, the heart is synthetic. This model has five chambers. Strange. I can think of no operative reason for an extra chamber. And this is a fairly recent model, put into service only 11 years ago. 11 years coincides with Joseph's abrupt decision to leave the saboteurs. So he betrayed his anti-tech beliefs in exchange for a life-saving machine. How ironic. You mean a whole life it's just been a big lie? John. Oh, shite. Fight, 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 fight. Where are you? Backup. There's your backup. The best backup ever. You two need to get together because you would also draw each other. Go around the house and find that cyber nest before we do. All is lost. Did he get you? Does it hurt? Since humans feel pain and machines do not, I thank you for your heartfelt concern. Mm. We must find that cyber nest, then flee to safety. John, think. Does your father have a safe in the house? A strong box? Anything? No, nothing like that. The answer is here. I know it. Joseph mm. refused to be taken to a hospital. Why? Because of his anti-tech beliefs. But we know he'd already betrayed those beliefs by accepting an artificial heart. Was he afraid to leave his home for fear it would be searched? But it has been searched by Elias, and nothing was found. My conclusion exactly. That leaves the hospital. Joseph was afraid they'd find something. But what? What? Project the hologram of his heart again. Of course. That fifth chamber on the heart. Please. Narrow the hollow band. I can scarcely believe it. There it is, the cyber nest. Can you retrieve it, Watson? A simple matter with this thermal regenerator. Won't feel a thing. This will just take a moment. 
They found it. Move in. One global robot destroyer present and accounted for. Uh, perhaps you'd better hold it. Hmm. With increased magnification, this appears to be a relatively primitive biovirus dynamo. Hmm. I wonder. Uh oh. Excuse me, gentlemen. Visitors are dropping in everywhere. I think it's time to hit the high road. Just like, let's get out of here. Hey, that was broad. Oh, I love you. Are we going to be okay? We're all going to be okay. As soon as we get to the next stop. As soon as we get out of here. We're gonna, we're gonna get Scotty Dion on this. Very quickly. Oh, oh. Yeah. And just what the heck are any techs doing with inhibitor beams anyways? Mm. Lousy hypocrites. Another mm. piece of the puzzle, Strong. Mm. The being hypocrites, yep. Everybody's a hypocrite. I'm switching to manual. It's like, we're gonna do this the old fashioned way. Ooh, that's gonna hurt. Can't seem to shake it, lad. Mm. Are you safe, young squad? Don't go. You'll be deactivated. Believe me, I could use the rest. Distraction! Right? You hey. may remove your mask, Moriarty. What? Moriarty? Holmes, very impressive. Please, entertain me with the deductive observations that led you Wait, to... Wait, how did Moriarty get involved in this? His sudden intense interest in the cyber nest after all these years suggested that somebody new had entered the equation. Somebody powerful, and somebody with unique interest in what the cybernest could do. A little robot cleansing. Ah, but we both know it does more than that. As in wiping out the yard's DNA storage matrix, which contains your recent and valued addition. I suggest a trade. Mm -hmm. This new Scotland Yard zealot in exchange for the cybernest. Mm, forget it, Holmes! Don't negotiate! No deal. <laughs> yeah, go Lestrade. She's like the only antidote for Petholiate root. Come now, Holmes. We're only talking about the inconsequential loss of robotics. In previous centuries, everyone got along fine without them. You remember, don't you? Holmes, my own mortality aside, those micro ticks would wipe out every automated system in the world. People's lives would be in danger. I have your assurance that you will give sufficient warning before implementing this device. I have no desire to harm I bet he's giving I him He's time giving time him a troll. He's giving him agreement. a troll. Sorry, Watson. He's giving him a troll. He's no, giving him a troll. Don't do that to Dr. Watson. He's more than a robot. He's my friend. Please, John. It's for the greater good. See? A win-win situation. Except for Watson, of course. Until we meet again, Sherlock Holmes. Wait, did he give him the antidote? <laughs> nice. <sighs> I bet he told him. Oh, the rat's gone into its hole. How could you, Holmes? He'll now unleash those micro ticks upon the world. No, he won't. <laughs> it's a troll. Yeah. And not to mention my job once Grayson gets wind of this. Not to worry, either of you. Moriarty will soon discover the same thing I did. That the Cybernest's antiquated virus dynamo has long become obsolete. And quite harmless. It belongs in a museum, not an arsenal. Yay, nice! Yes, Woo, troll! I was right about the troll. And most of all, you. <sighs> It's like you're my friend. I Why would you hurt you? To worry about when you apologized. Your father and your uncle are recovering nicely. Thank you, Dr. Watson. Though I must say, neither were particularly pleased to find me leaning over them when they opened their eyes. All they see is a machine. Why can't they just get to know the real you? 
like I did. Yes. Why indeed? Aww. <laughs> that was sweet! Oh my gosh! That was sweet! Okay, that was that was pretty good. That was a pretty good one. I like that one. I especially like the ending of, you know, things are more than they seem and you have to look at the inside and not the out. And it's just, oh, it was so sweet. It made me happy. It made me very happy. So that was a good one. I like that one. That was very, very nice. So next time we will be reacting to episode 16, the Red-Headed League. Ooh. Till then, TTFN. Ta-ta for now.